All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at a insane, insane inventory. This was requested to look at a purple and white combination, doing it as best as we can. And this came out to be just, just over a thousand dollars. This is going to be an incredibly insane thousand dollar inventory, but there will be ways to make it much cheaper, as in the knife and glove combo is about seven hundred dollars of that. So. If you don't want the knife and glove, you only get 300 to spend, you can wipe that out completely, or you can go for some cheaper options. But if you do enjoy these sort of videos and want to see some more custom inventories like this, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and give me your suggestion in the comments down below, and let's dive right into it. Now, as usual, we're going to go pistols, then rifles, then the knife and gloves. So to kick it off, we're going to have the Glock Neo Noir in minimal wear for $18.53. You will see the Neo Noir sort of continue as a theme here because it's got the white bit on the top and through the base. It then has the purple along with some pink and blue in it. So it's kind of perfect for when you want this white and purple inventory, which is exactly why it's also the option for the USP. The design pattern or attach or whatever you want to call it is essentially the same. Obviously, you get the suppressor in this case, so you get a bit more white on the end of the weapon but you know what neo noir skins are super popular they're really nice and it's a perfect fit now over on the deagle side of things we have to go for a print stream it's a white skin with a black base and it has that like effect on it which kind of gives it like this pinky purple shine when it's in the light and then obviously with all these skins you can upgrade it by putting some stickers on it which in this case you can see by throwing on a few of the woody fluxel holes from paris it adds a bit more sort of purple onto the weapon you don't see it too much whenever you're holding it there but you do in this sense here but essentially anywhere from cheap budget purple stickers all the way to the most expensive across all these weapon skins putting a purple sticker on it is a way to elevate it or if it's a purple skin and there's a white a white sticker like a glitter now it's not a perfect fit but i'm going for the boost protocol here because it is that white base and then you get this sort of like pinkish tone at the top depending on yeah it's pretty much pinkish tone along the top what i would say here is this is another one where i'd say you want to put purple stickers onto it it's a dollar 27 for minimal wear go for some budget purple stickers and complete it and fit the theme unfortunately for the tech nine you're kind of forced into the test into the Unfortunately for the Take 9, you're kind of forced into the decimator route. This is field tested for $8. There's a lot of blue on it. People will argue it's more blue than purple, or maybe it's actually more pink than purple. So this one, kind of take it with a pinch of salt. It's either this or a sandstorm. You're, you're essentially stuck. Now, we have an obvious option for the AK, and it's going to be the Neon Rider, which right now, a minimum wear, you can get for just under $55, which I honestly think is a really good price. I could have swore a couple months ago when we were doing these, this would have been like an $80, $90 weapon skin. So, you know, really like that sort of drop we're getting. This is one where I think you either go purple on top of the purple, or maybe where you've got the bits of blue, that's where you put the purple sticker, then on the purple, you put a white sticker, kind of try and mesh it like that. But either way, you could also run this without stickers, and it looks insanely good. And much like the Neo Noir, you're going to see another print stream here because for the M4 A1S, it's just without a doubt the best option. The other purple option is really just going for a Battle Scar Night Terror, which I don't think would have been good for this overall. So you're going to get a field tested print stream again, very similar to the Deagle situation. And then I would say you want to put some stickers on it. And in this case, I've just thrown on some techno Paris sticker holes here again. It's, a lot of the Paris stickers are really good for this for the budget. And then obviously previous um, majors have like so many nice purple stickers you can use. Time for some more back-to-back -back combos. For the M4A4, we're going to spend just under $9 and get another Neo Noir once again. I say this one has a bit more pink than purple on it. But looking at the A4 options, you're either going to go for a purple skin that has a huge color clash with other colors and not so much white so i think this is probably going to be the best option and it will still work really nicely with the glove combo and like i said we can continue that over with the op neo noir this for me is a super underrated op more so because we don't see it a lot like you see the glock you see the usp you see the m the m4 a4 i don't think we see the op this often it's minimal wear for 21 dollars 79 cents so it is a very good price and it looks very good i mean if it gets maybe if you don't like having like the the anime style the woman across it that's what puts you off but there's a lot of white on it with a nice purple sort of underglow i like the skin now i'm gonna go black and white for the scout because it, like there's purple skins out there but they have the clash of like blue on them or and it's just it doesn't fit overly well so i think going for the white with the black because at least like if you go white say you're going purple and white and then a bit of black you kind of like tick that box where it's not going to clash and it still kind of fits in and like i say with all of these skins you can throw stickers on it these cobble hollows actually look kind of nice on the parallax now over on the famous kind of a lack of options i can't go for a mecha industries because it's got red on it which is a bit of a clash so instead 
I'm gonna go for a rapid eye movement, which is mostly purple with some sort of pink and I'm gonna like fucking like beigey sort of colours on it. Um, and then you get pinks and purples through the eyes. It's not the prettiest skin in the world. This is probably the one out of all this collection. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm not too sure. We definitely need to see some better Fama skins coming out. And I've put G2 glitters on it because I wanted to try and force the white in. At least with the Gael, there's kind of a no-brainer. We can go straight for a chromatic aberration. I know the pattern on this is pinky and purple, but then you also get lots of white accents, like the star and the numbers written on it, and then it's on that black base. So I think overall, for like a white and purple inventory, for the Gael, like you could go Sugar Rush, which is purple, but it's kind of like a full purple, little bit of blue. Either or fits in nicely. The MP9 is going to have to be the Starlight Protector because this way you're getting a lot of white. Again, you've got a bit of black and gold, but I think these are, again, two colors that they're like they're secondary and don't clash too much. You get a bit of rainbow coming from the unicorn. What I would say is putting a purple sticker on the front of this, maybe two before you get to the unicorn, um, or three stickers where you have two, two at the front, like a front and middle, and then on the, the handle of the, of the MP9, but you don't cover the unicorn, and that would work. I went for the discotheque for the MAC-10. Obviously, depending on the angle you inspect this, like when you actually inspect the weapon, it is this lovely pink-purple, but when you run around it in game with certain lighting, as you can see, it becomes this kind of like greenish color. So obviously, inspecting it, it's going to fit what you want. Running it in game without inspecting, not so much. So just be mindful of that one. And then for the Mag 7, I've decided to shift fully away from what would normally be the Monster Call. And I've gone for the BI-83 Spectrum in this case. Just because it's a kind of color mix where you get bits of blue, bits of purple, bit of pink. It was kind of the best option we had. And that completes the weapons for this, which is 16 different weapon skins in total, and now we'll look at the knife and glove. Now for the gloves, I'm gonna recommend you go for some driver gloves, Imperial Plate in field test it. These are arguably one of the best budget CS Gold gloves you can get because $300 for a purple pair of gloves in field test it, they look really good. It's cracking when you consider that the other options are Vi well, Vice or Pink and Blue, and then you're looking at Pandora's box, which are literally thousands and thousands thousands if you want them in any sort of decent condition which is crazy so you get a low float field test of these these are just like a higher field test of float a low float of these it'll get rid of those scuffs on the knuckles and they'll look incredibly good and then you want to pair it with a nice purple knife which in this case is going to be a blue steel knife um obviously there's loads of blue steel knives you can go for any of them i kind of want to spend a similar amount on the gloves and the knife so i've spent just a little bit more on the knife with the skeleton knife blue steel battle scarred $375. If you're new around here to CSGO, you wonder why I've gone battle scarred for the knife. With the blue steel knives, the more battle scarred they get, they go from being blue to being purple. They do have a little bit of wear on them, like you can see, compared to what the blue would be. But this looks incredibly nice. Obviously, the skeleton knife has some really nice animations, like rare animations and, and, and specs. And in general, it's just a pretty cool knife. And that kind of completes everything that we're going for. This comes in this comes in at a thousand and twenty dollars obviously something you could do here is go for really cheap black on hinge gloves for like seventy dollars and then just go for a blue steel knife maybe like a power cord for like 150 that way you're like cutting like 400 dollars off the price mark and then obviously stuff like an a1s print stream maybe you decide you don't need to go for that you can cut that out and just wait down the line that's how you can make this like much more budget friendly but guys Please give me your feedback on this because it's a little bit harder to do the, like, these custom themes where you're pairing two colors together due to as many skins as we have in the game. There's a lot of color ranges and design styles to cover. So whenever we're trying to pair two together, it can get a little bit more tricky. But I think we've done a really good job here. So as I say, let me know what you think of it down below if you want to see anything more like this. And if you do, drop your suggestions. I said that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button when you're around here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.